And we have a big storm brewing in the Gulf of Mexico today. Hurricane Adalia strengthening. Currently a Category 1 hurricane with 85 mile per hour winds, but Adalia expected to rapidly intensify before making landfall in Florida heading into Wednesday morning. Here it is on satellite this afternoon, really starting to ramp up now. I've seen this look before, and this is the look of a storm that's about to start rapidly intensifying. Take a little bit of a closer look here at it on visible satellite. You can see those thunderstorms wrapping around that center, and we're beginning to see that eye pop out. We'll continue seeing these trends heading into this afternoon, and I wouldn't be surprised if this thing ended up a Category 4 hurricane before it was all said and done. Here's the latest forecast from the National Hurricane Center. They call for rapid strengthening a strong upper end Category 3 hurricane before this moves up and makes landfall somewhere in the Big Bend area between Apalachicola and Cedar Key tomorrow morning. This is going to drive a lot of storm surge, though, up into Florida, the worst being up in the Big Bend area, but places like like Tampa and further south into southwest Florida, going to see a lot of coastal flooding as well. Either way, strengthening expected up until landfall. You can see our tropical future cast with that eye popping out before making landfall. And by the way, we'll be covering this extensively on Fox 4 tomorrow morning. As far as what the hurricane might do, storm surge forecast continues to trend up. 10 to 15 feet of storm surge expected there up in northern parts of Florida, Tampa Bay, five to nine feet. So this is going to be quite the event. It's going to grab national headlines over the next couple of days because of all of this hurricane warnings in effect for much of the Florida coastline from Panama City to Tampa Bay, tropical storm warnings down towards Fort Myers. We'll be watching this here at Fox 4.